The hills are alive in California. Oh, <laughs> that's not how it goes. <laughs> Arriving at Historic yep. McDonald's Museum on the left. So it says it's opened in 1948 by brothers Richard and Maurice McDonald. This site shares similar history to Route 66 as they were both growing during the same period of time. The McDonald's brothers began franchising their fast food system beginning in 1953. They were built with a standard design which included the company's universal recognized golden arches. In 1954, businessman Ray Kroc met the McDonald's brothers while selling restaurant equipment to them, specifically milkshake mixing machines. Kroc became inspired with the financial potential of the concept the McDonald's brothers started. He would later partner with the brothers and Kroc grew the concept into a huge corporation. This is the very first half mill right here from 1979, July 11th. Wow. That one? Yeah. Wow. It was all circus theme and that's one of the four toys made by a company called Diner Incorporated. They were known for making cheap little kind of gas station rubber toys. How cool. Since the Happy Mill was such a new concept, McDonald's didn't want to put too much money into it. Right. So they only invested in inexpensive items for prizes. Well, that's what they called the toys back then. Isn't that the biggest ceiling fan you ever saw in your life? Yes, yeah. that really is. Holy moly. Extra red second place. Wow. Thankness. The art of thankness. Oh, no. First place was the art of thankness. Um, this place was an absolute godsend. The people here are amazing. Ask for Liz as your bartender. Hopefully she's here. Precious. And everybody here was so amazing. We have just killed three hours. Yeah, three hours. Um, and, and Rob, who is, you know, the yes. he's like the brew, one of the brew masters or something. He took us around and showed us everything. Amazing. Awesome. And the beer was delicious. Really loved it. Loved it, loved it, and loved then, it. And uh, Rob's friend dropped by. His name was David. He was fabulous. He's a home brewer. He's a home brewer. Uh, super cool guy. Can't say enough. These people were amazing. They went out of their way like we were long lost family at Thanksgiving. So what is this called? This is Elmer's Bottle Tree Ram. I've seen this on um I believe it was Karen Nate or, yeah. or Keep Your Daydream. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was uh, one of those, yeah. Yeah, it was Karen Nate because. Look at that old gas station thing. Gas This is like little trees and bottles. Mm -hmm. So cool. Oh, did I say an old Coke bottle over here? Oh, or Coke disc? Yep, there it is. I thought I saw one. So quirky. Wow. And the story is that this one guy named Elmer like did all this, welded it all and built it all. Now it became not you know some sort of must see, yeah. I mean it just goes on forever, look. Just going in and out of all these little trees. Look, they even got little Route 66 sodas here. I'm doing great. Isn't this amazing? Oh, um. Oh. Okay. We're gonna make a, a donation. Because that's how he apparently Thank makes you. a. Thank you. I suppose that's how he kind of helps pay for things. He allows the public just to walk in and, and view it. It's 
stage. Talk about one man's junk is another man's treasure, hey? Mm. Wow. It's super quirky. Route right. This is an old, like a, like an old washing machine press type thing, I believe. Actually, I don't know what that is. What in the world? Is, the only thing I can think of is like you would wring out clothes to wring out the water in it. That's my guess. And if you happen to know, leave. I was gonna say, I, I think it's like if you wash your clothes. Oh, it's a mango. What? It's a mango for washing your clothes. That's what I thought, and that's what rings it out, right? Yeah, that's right. a mango. So you put like the sheets and things between it, and you turn it, and those things turn. Right. You put the clothes through, and it squeezes all the, all the liquid out. That's what I thought, but. Oh, you thought right. The quirkiest, coolest thing. It's so bizarre and different. It's bizarre. And... That's our rental, but more importantly, this is Route Historic, Route 66, right there. We're in the Mojave Desert, right? I don't know if we're in the Mojave Desert, but. We're certainly in the, it looks like the Sandy Shores. <laughs> Probably <laughs> the game. Okay. I know what that reference is. Wow. What predators live in the Mojave Desert? Here's a summary from the Nature Conservancy. Mojave Desert Animals and Plants. Bighorn Sheep, Greater Roadrunner, Burrowing Owls, Mountain Lion, Jackrabbit, Joshua Tree, Giant Desert Hairy Scorpion, and Gila Monster. Di a Joshua Tree's a... Jo no, it said plants too. The Giant Desert hairy scorpion is what made me stop and go. Ew. Well, I'm gonna take her to the dance on Saturday night. I think we're gonna do, we're gonna just split the pot roast. All right, and do our fries or mash? Let's do mash. Welcome to Nevada. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. So we're here in Vegas. Las Vegas. For two nights, and I have never been to Vegas before, and Kevin is so excited to show me. And this is the first time I've ever been grateful for a pandemic because anyone who knows me knows I really do not like crowds. And I don't know how much you can see because of the sun, but it really is not super crowded. So I'm, su I'm, I'm just kind of grateful for that. We're in um, the Venetian, and we just looked at a gondola ride. It's rather pricey, so we might give it a miss. Welcome to the chandelier in the Cosmopolitan. In my head I'm singing I want to swing from a chandelier but I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate it if I suddenly launched myself over there would they? No. Definitely a do-over huh? Yes. Definitely a do-over. Loved it. So 
were just driving out of Vegas, my first ever visit. And the difference between me driving away and driving in, when we were driving in, I'm thinking, I'm not gonna like this, it's too busy, I don't like it, I don't like it. And now we're driving away and I'm going, I don't wanna leave, I love it, I loved it. It was amazing. My first impressions of Vegas is, it is a cross between Disney for adults, a cruise ship, and New Orleans. See you in Utah! Bye bye. Welcome to Utah. Amazing. I love these parks. Who was it who set them up? Roosevelt, Hoover? Genius, look at that. I mean, it's just breathtaking. I mean, your head's got to be on a swivel to be able to see it all. Look at that. It's just amazing. Wow. here on a log having some cheese meat and some sea salt dark chocolate almond mm -hmm. our view is quite spectacular oh, it really is this is the east side um, just just after the entrance we went into the park and it's quite full today it's very full for Monday for Monday it's very full and the um, we drove to the um, visitor center, but nowhere to park. Gosh, it was and just zoo. cars and cars and cars waiting for places. So we skedaddled out of there. And there was a couple of hikes that we really wanted to do, but no, again, no parking. And that's fine. We're super chill about everything. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful Monday. I tell you, the weather this whole entire journey so mm. far has been just spectacular. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. It really has been amazing. We've been very blessed. Yeah. 
I didn't use this pan this time. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that was the culprit. I used more solid structure. Well, oh, I'm having flashbacks. Oh baby, <laughs> a screaming splashbacks. Ah, uh, uh. How is your arm? Yeah. Oh my love. Ooh, I know. So, very but so. That's what happens when you bake bacon in those cheap pans and, and, and inside the oven, those pans will flex. And so when I used this to take out the, the pan, when it got out, the pan twisted back into shape and splashed grease all over this. Anyway, um, all right. ready? Let's eat. Let's eat. And then let's, um, let's hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. We'll go to Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon. I know. I'm really excited about that. The hoodoos are just so magical. The hoodoos. I'm excited about seeing them. Yep. It's going to be an amazing day. All right. Every day is an amazing day. Alrighty, we're heading north. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. Continue on US 89 north for 39 miles. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I mean, so I told you. This was the perfect spot I'm between you. the two um, paths. Oh shit, maybe that was that water. Good morning. Yes, please. Thank you. Arriving at Bice Canyon National Park, continue inside your Wangler Point Overlook. What do you think of Rainbow Point? I think it's high. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, impressive. Very impressive. It's hard to breathe. I know, right? So one mile is 5,235 odd feet or so. And we're, we're like 3,000 more than that, 4,000 more than that. 9,100. Almost four miles. Almost two I'm, miles. I'm sorry, almost two miles up. So, yeah, this is the highest point in the whole park. It's, um, it's amazing and it's cold. Like the air is so still and so cold. It's quite amazing. And just looking out over everything was so still. Um, I think this might be not as, not, what am I trying to say? I think this might not be the most beautiful spot in the park right because i think when you get down into the hoodoos oh that's breathtaking tectonic shifting has pushed them to the height of mountains but all of this orange and varying degrees of it is the iron oxide that was in the water that the stone has has absorbed so all of this used to be under a riverbed isn't that insane and the white ones where it's white means it was less iron oxide in the water, which means that it was generally deeper water. And then as the tectonic plates shift throughout the millennia, these riverbeds get pushed up to the height of mountains. I mean, just incredible. So apparently there's two hoodoos here called the rabbit and the hunter he said the rabbit is looking left i think it's that one you see it mm -hmm. i think that's the rabbit and then this was the hunter don't know what he said i was listening to it and they said they didn't know why it was called the hunter but you see how the trees are growing in the top that's because there's a little bird here who collects the pine seeds and stores them in little caches, up to 20,000 caches. And it has this little bird, a nutcracker it's called, it has amazing um, spatial memory, so it remembers where it's stored, all its little seeds. Um, but obviously sometimes they forget, and then they end up sprouting. 
in the weirdest of places. <laughs> wow. So it's formed by the water. It's not formed by water running through it, obviously, because there's no running water, but it's formed by um, rain and ice melt and running over the top slowly starts to kind of eat into it but then also the rain soaks into the rock and as it freezes it blows apart the um blows apart this hole so eventually over time this will continue to keep blowing apart and uh, and will collapse and we'll, you'll be left with more hoodoos wow it's Bryce Point. This is Bryce Point. This apparently is the most selection of um, or collection of hoodoos in the whole planet Earth. And it's something to do with that over the last six million years, um, the, the river has pushed further north. So it's, it's slowly kind of carved away at this plateau. Isn't that amazing? It's a little chipmunk. What is that? Yeah. Oh. Hi hey, little buddy. chipmunk. Hi. Let's hope he's not rabbits. Alright. This is why I keep my hoodoo collection. You do, you do well baby. Then you want to see my seashell collection? I know, it's on every beach in the world. <laughs> How his roots are holding up. That's a bottle brush fur. You can tell because the branches look like a bottle brush. Bottle brush pine. Wow, a golden eagle. A golden eagle. They said they were in the park. And I had my eyes peeled, and sure enough, I look out your window, and there's one keeping up with the car. Like, woohoo! Hello! I hear! What the heck? Amazing. Home, home, home on, on the range, range, where the deer and the antelope play. play. Oh, Sheldon, Miss Just come on up, and, and uh, it, uh, it'll we'll kind of bust through them. Don't want to get too too close to the horse because you don't want to startle the horse. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you just talk that left side, you should be able to get through. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. Need to move, sister. Out of girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was bull.
ain't in Georgia anymore. Although this is the red George clay. Oh, beautiful. Arriving at Capitol Reef Resort on the I'd left. Talk to that. Yeah. Let's go check in. Yeah. This side down. It's like not even. It's not even making a noise. All right. Again. Take two. Yay.